Let's do one thing. Let us move on now and talk about Century Plyboard itself. Keshav Bajanka, the executive director at Century Plyboard, joins us now to discuss demand trends, the outlook for the business, and how the new year is expected to shape up. Uh, Keshav, good morning and happy new year to you in advance. Thanks a lot for being with us uh, through the course of so many years. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you're, you know, shaping up for the new year in terms of business. Is business looking good? Is growth coming back in a big way? If yes, what are the big corporate triggers for you in the new year? Uh, good morning. Wish you a very happy new year in advance too. Um, I think, you know, this quarter, the demand was slightly subdued mm. uh, across our segments. But having said that, I think we have performed reasonably well. Uh, as market leaders, we have been able to, to uh, maintain growth. Uh, which is something that uh, I think uh, you know was difficult considering the circumstances. This was primarily due to inflationary pressure, but uh, I think that going forward, demand on the ground should look robust. I think this was a short-term blip, maybe for one or two quarters. And going forward, we are still very optimistic about a strong Q4 and an excellent FI24 ahead. Uh, Having said this, uh, you know, I think for us, one of the biggest growth triggers is uh, our expanded capacity in Hoshapur, which should mm. come into play next month. And that should lead uh, to a much stronger growth in the MDF segment as we are already operating close to 100%. Right. Uh, thank you for joining in, Keshav. Uh, again, season's greetings. You said that uh, the third quarter demand was rather subdued. I mean, if you could give us uh, a quantitative sense of how it was, because you know, after your second quarter numbers, you said that the first half where you grew around 17 odd percent, uh, uh, you were confident of closing this year well above that 20 percent guidance that you had. You've done well, but the quarter was subdued. Uh, do you hold on to those, uh, uh, you know, targets that you had uh, alluded to? Well, yes, uh, definitely. We will definitely uh, achieve those targets and uh, our, uh, our aim shall be to better those targets. Um, I think it, uh, it was a one. It was a quarter where uh, we saw the peak of this inflationary pressure. The the decision to to uh, go from a house to a home is uh, one that requires a lot of thought. And I think that during this time period, the price of uh, commodities such as steel, cement, everything had shot up to an extent where people were sort of deferring that action. Uh, however, a lot of these prices have corrected now. So I think Q4 will see robust demand on the ground again. And next year, uh, considering the, the home sales, the house sales numbers that we are seeing, particularly in residential real estate, I think next year will be very strong. Okay. But you also started by saying that uh, the industry demand is muted, although you are the market leader, so you are doing pretty well. Do you reckon that there could be some catch up on the downside? I mean, are you looking at perhaps a slowdown in demand compared to what you've seen in the pre-COVID levels? Maybe not now, maybe in FY24. And if yes, what could the average growth be? I think our uh, objective for growth remains 20% uh, year on year okay. and we have multiple growth levers. Uh, as you know, we're the only company that is present in all these segments in plywood, laminates, uh, MDF and particle board. Our new capacity, which has come on board in Hosharpur, mm -hmm. which is about a 60% capacity addition to what we already have, is going to be a big growth lever for us going forward next year. We also have an expan expansion in the laminate capacity that is coming up and uh, number of greenfield, uh, uh, sorry, uh, brownfield expansions in plywood. So I think all of these are going to help us maintain our growth trajectory and uh, next year we should be looking at robust growth as well. Right. Uh, you know, you have given us a long-term target, total revenue target of close to 6,500 crores by FY27. We'll take it one year at a time. Um, you said that you also briefly alluded to inflation, but uh, there has been a correction of what, 10 to 20 percent in chemical costs. So what about timber, phenol? Have you uh, cut your prices, uh, the prices that you charge to consumers? I think, you know, there has been easing in certain raw material costs, such as uh, chemicals, as you have already alluded to. But uh, having said that, timber prices still remain somewhat high, particularly in the north. So uh, overall, we have not taken any price corrections. Uh, maybe a slight price correction in uh, the particle board segment. But other than that, all the remaining segments, there have been no price corrections, there have been no price reductions. Margins going forward should be better on account of uh, the correction in the raw material prices. For the MDF segment particularly, you had a target of 6,500 crores of revenues by FY27. Do you hold on to that or would you want to scale it in any way? No, I think uh, that figure is a little incorrect. 6,500 was the target 
for the entire company. Sorry, for the yeah, for the for entire the business. Day. Yes. As so I think we are very very well on track for the same. Okay. And uh, our objective shall be to meet the same or to perhaps exceed it. Okay. And particularly for MDF, what is the expectation? So we are still very bullish on MDF. As you know, our new capacity in Hosharpur will be coming uh, into play from next month itself. And uh, we have a greenfield capacity addition in the state of Andhra Pradesh, which should come into play from age two next year. So with both of these coming on track, because right now we are at 100% capacity, mm -hmm. <laughs> that becomes the obvious challenge for growth. But going forward, uh, we are very confident that once these capacity additions come on, uh, on stream, we shall grow at a robust pace in MDF as well. Keshav, uh, you know, in, isn't uh, there a lot of capacity coming up in MDF? Uh, you, you know, players, <laughs> or, is, or is that not a concern? Uh, at least uh, three large uh -huh. players are setting up new capacity. I think, uh, you know, setting up a capacity and utilizing a capacity are uh, two different things. Uh, initially, when we had come up with our first capacity in Hosharpur, the same questions were being raised you know, uh, when we were new entrants to the market, how mm -hmm. we would be able to be in market share. But I think the ramp up, ramp up for us was the fastest in the industry. Again, going forward, considering our expertise in uh, sales and marketing, our expertise in supply chain, in production, I think we will be able to wrap up uh, perhaps faster than next. Is there any other uh, category that you are eyeing right now? You said you are across, uh, you are present across the board when it comes to uh, wood panels, there is laminates, there is MDF, uh, there are plywoods, etc. But for home improvement, a lot of the larger home improvement players are looking at different categories as well. Are you eyeing any of them? Uh, in our case, you know, we are in a very peculiar situation where uh, the, the growth uh, levers within our categories are very strong. I think, uh, you know, I've spoken in the past about how China's mm. uh, production of uh, MDF is 40 times that of India, of plywood is 20 times that of India, particle wood is 30 plus times that of India. So I think we're in a very sweet spot where within our industry itself, there is tremendous scope for growth. So I think, uh, you know, as a company, we have decided that for at least three years, we will not be looking at any other category. We'll be focusing on uh, the same four categories which we are in today. Plywood, laminates, MDF and particle board. Okay. All right. Keshav, all the best. Thanks a lot for joining in. Have a great year ahead. Uh, we'll speak to you again very soon. Thank you. And wish you the same. Thank you. Uh, let's slip into a quick break. Up next.